Hi. Hi. How you doing today? I'm doing good. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi. Go. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi. How you doing? Good. How are you? Go. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? Pretty good today. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Well. I miss the intimacy of the dorm dining. It's almost like the, the students when, when I was a dorm checker. The students who come in, you when they're freshmen, you get to know them and they might be scared or nervous or sad. Or, and then because you're always there, it's like a consistency for them. So I would, I would be able to talk to them and let them feel more at home, like it's okay. And here, it's kind of crowded, so we don't have that luxury. But that's, I think that's the biggest difference. Oh, hi, I'm sorry. Hi, she's doing a school, school oh. report, yeah. When I worked at Rocky, I was all by myself all the time. Like the kitchen staff and everybody there in the kitchen, but as a checker, you're kind of isolated. So in some ways it's good because it helps you bond with the students, but it doesn't help you bond with your coworkers as much. So we did when we started having our meals together, like that's how we all bonded. But here, now I work with other people. And so we talk, we laugh, we get to have fun. And that helps the working environment too. You have somebody who's dealing with the same stresses as you or you know, like, oh, we gotta work in the dish room today. They don't have enough people. It's, it's good to have that kind of community you know, but you have other people who are going through what you're going through. Going from there to here was starting a brand new job, essentially, because everything that we were doing at Blanchard is nowhere near what we're doing here. So stepping into the here, it was essentially starting a brand new job where everybody was on the same footing. So it was, it has been a lot easier for me and my coworkers to get closer working together because we were all in the same boat. We were all growing, going through growing pains. So it was a lot more, the camaraderie was stronger, tighter, the morale was a little bit better because we were all in the same boat. Um, it's definitely a lot easier now because everything, compared to Blanchard for instance, everything's more spread out. There's not everything so cramped in one area. So this is the Laheim uh, workstation. So we have a very limited amount of space here. We've got a black uh, char grill, some frying laters, stove top, we have two ovens. One is for dairy and one is for meat. And when we first walked in, it was very difficult to try to figure out where we were gonna put everything, where we were gonna be able to produce meat, prep on a dairy day and a dairy prep on a meat day. It, with kosher, we have to keep those two items separate. But as the semester has gone along, I think we've all gotten more comfortable with the space that we have and, and how we can best utilize it. Management didn't know what to expect and the, 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 the employees didn't know what to expect or what to do and, you know, the dish room and, you know, a lot of cooks had to go help do dishes. Management was doing dishes. Things weren't thought out through correctly. The first few weeks were rather stressful and hectic. Um, just getting the computer programming set up, you know, making sure everybody's on the same page with what you're supposed to hit, how you're supposed to do it. It took probably three to four weeks. And then finally everything was really smooth. The beginning was a little stressful though. Nobody understood how many students would be coming in at the same time because of class schedules. I remember I was scheduled for 5.30 and I was coming down here for five and there was a line that actually went all the way out to Wilder, out this door that way at five. And I'm walking down here, I'm thinking, oh my gosh. When the students saw me, they're like, quick, get in there because <laughs> we need more cashiers. <laughs> so I went running in here and clocked in and so it was like a learning curve like you know five o'clock we need more cashiers on then we do at seven and then lunchtime we learned quickly that we needed more cashiers on because lunchtime is very busy yeah it's a little bit more I would say chaotic here because obviously it's one space there you know it's a lot more uh, crowded so 
I, it's almost like I, I feel the stress more of like working in a really like um, fast paced kitchen um, while in Prospect it was a lot quieter and more chill. I've just heard that, that uh, some of the people that have been here for uh, a while have had a hard time transitioning uh, and the changes that they've had to make. In the dorms you would have, you would serve you know, anywhere, you know, from the slower dorms, you know, 100 people per shift up to, say, 400 at Prospect or, you know, 600 at, at Blanchard. And now you're preparing less items, but you're preparing more of them. And your hours of service are longer. So I think it's just a tough transition from, you know, the old dorms were almost like a mom and pop organization, Why? At, whereas the new facility is more like a corporate setting where you're following more rules and you have to, you have different expectations as far as how much uh, food you have to produce. For the people who work in the morning, they, they get an easier way of dealing with life. I mean, they get out early, or they'll get out from 10 to like 6. is a tough schedule because the whole day you're basically here and then your whole day is not room, but you can't get things done. So the morning shift from 6 to 2, you start early, you get out at 2, so you have the whole day to get things done. As for night crew, they have at 4.45 to 12, you're basically at work from that time from 4 to 12, and it's all day. It ruins your sleep schedule, and it's tough to go to sleep when you're getting home at 12.45, and what, you have to get back up at 9 o'clock or 8 o'clock? Like you're only getting maybe six hours total of sleep a day. It's just harder for a night chef to get things done. When we was at Blanchard, uh, we had more of a staggered shift depending on what station we were working. It was a different station each week with a different time period. Here, I have one station with a two week rotating schedule. So every two weeks, it's the exact same schedule. Absolutely above and beyond, I love it more now because I can plan easier, I can plan my life easier around what we have now than it was before. Um, that also goes to me not working during the days anymore, more during the nights. At the night shift, it's a lot easier to have more set schedule than it is during the day. I miss my old work hours, so I'm not going to lie. Um, it's a lot more confusing. I was hoping that when we moved here, we would kind of have um, maybe a set night schedule or a set day schedule. But it goes by seniority. So I was number six or something. So one week I work pretty much mostly nights. And then I work every other Wednesday. And then the other week I work thir all day Thursday, all day Friday. So the hours are all, are all over the place. So I couldn't take a class because I never knew when I was going to be working. And this was supposed to be the semester that I signed up for a class. Oh, it's okay. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. Hi, Kaylee. How you doing? Good, how are you? It's, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, have a good day. You too. So, it's not, it's only for this semester though. Um, they've said that next semester they are going to let us pick a shift and then well, they'll stick us in that shift if, if we don't get bumped. Like you'll have your first choice, second choice, third choice. So I'm gonna pick nights so that no matter what, I'll have days free to take a class. Um, I think there should be more jobs for us to you know, space our days out instead of eight hour days, turn it to four days, hours, or six hour days. So you're not always here all the time. They also say too, the longer you're here, the longer you cook it, you start to hate your job. And that's not me. I, I don't hate my job. I just, I want a better life after when I get out of work. I want more time with my kids. I want more time with my family. But it's hard for you when you're working the night shift when you don't get that often.